Okay, this has been a very, very long chapter. We have one more item we want, I want to cover on these videos. Uh, the multiple step income statement versus the single step income statement. The multiple step income statement is what most companies are going to do. They want to have detailed information on where they got their numbers and how they calculate their net income. Now, the first number, now these are just numbers that I made up, okay? So here's an example of a multiple step income statement. Sales are 500,000. We have sales discount of 2,000, sales returns and allowance of 4,000. These two items together total 6,000. We put them off to the side just because it looks, it's easier to read that way. Okay, so here's the total for these two, 6,000. So then our net sales, 5,000 minus six, is 494,000. The cost of these items that we sold, the cost of these items to us were 300,000. So our gross profit from selling our items, just plain selling our items, you know, buying them and then selling them, our gross profit is $194,000. Now we have, that's an expense. Now we have additional expenses. We have selling expenses and general administrative expenses. Sometimes businesses will detail out um, um, in more detail these uh, selling expenses and general administrative, and sometimes they just lump them all together, selling general and administrative expenses. But I put down total selling expenses of 80,000, total general and administrative expenses of 70,000. So these two together total operating expenses of 150,000. I didn't have room to put that subtotal in, but a lot of businesses will put that subtotal in. So 194 minus this 150 will get us income from our operations of $44,000. Now we take um, our other, which could be interest expense, interest revenue, gains, losses, you know, any other revenues, expenses, gains, losses that aren't up above. Okay, and a lot of times you will detail these out. I just ran out of room, so I lumped them all together. I'm gonna assume that this is 2,000 of interest revenue. So it's all interest revenue in this case. So 44,000 plus an additional interest revenue of two would get us net income of 46,000. So this would be the multiple step income statement. It's very detailed, lots of information for us to calculate ratios and do a lot of analysis. The single step income statement is a lot simpler. It's a lot smaller, but it hits the same answer. Net income of 46,000, net income of 46,000. There's just not going to be as much detail. And they start with revenues and subtract out expenses. So that's a little different too. Notice that our net sales is the 494. So they, they, they didn't detail out the returns and allowances and discounts. They just took the net amount and then interest revenue. Well, that came from down here. Remember I said this was interest revenue? Okay, so that was a revenue item. So we have total revenues of 496,000. The expenses, where well, we had cost of goods sold, our selling, and our general administrative expenses. So these total 450,000. So our revenues of 496 minus our expenses of 450 get us net income of 46,000. So either of these income statements is acceptable, okay? This one probably is the more popular one just because it's more detailed, but either of them are acceptable. You need to be familiar with both of these, all right? Good luck with this chapter. Uh, make sure you spend the necessary time to get these things down. Uh, multiple step and single step, but also um, the discounts, the returns, the allowances, both from uh, a buyer's standpoint and from a seller's standpoint. Good luck.